guys <laughs> this is Stanley and it's Ito from the Grey Couch but we're not sitting on the Grey Couch, couch no, we're, we're actually playing. coming to you live from the library <laughs> yes the library <laughs> um, if you know our story, story you know that it's the library's play a big Role. Oh, yeah. That doesn't mean we're nerds though, but hey. <laughs> this, this is not where we met, but it's where some seeds were sown. Let me put it that way. Mm-hmm. Some mm-hmm. seeds. Yeah, so, so this is like the green room of the library. Mm-hmm. We're testing it out yeah, and having fun. Like this morning, we're just, we're just talking. Uh-huh. And, uh, and we asked ourselves, so why did we get married? Now, yep. we do, do it again, right? <laughs> yes. And um, I. I confess that thinking about it now, I actually got married for selfish reasons. <laughs> you know, I uh, I wanted a trophy wife, a mm-hmm. smart Italian trophy wife, mm-hmm. someone that could cook, mm-hmm. someone that could manage my finances. Mm-hmm. And I got it for selfish reasons, mm-hmm. but um, along the line, mm-hmm. I discovered that it needed some work. I needed some work personally in order to keep it going. And um, forget the complaints and everything, I would do it again. What complaints? Hello? Uh, you haven't heard of me. <laughs> I have some colleagues at work that actually tell me that all their married people are complaining and it kind of, um, it kind of scares them. Because they're like, maybe they shouldn't get married. You know, mm. uh, mm. you know who you are if you're listening to this. You know. <laughs> but you know, and just thinking about it, would I do mm-hmm. it again? I'll really do it again. And why? Because mm-hmm. of the companionship. You mm-hmm. know, there's there's nothing like having someone that you know has your six, you know, mm-hmm. has your your back. You know, in a world that's constantly trying to stab you in the back. <laughs> but anyway. Um, <laughs> What's stabbing in the back? Oh, Hello. Yes, yes. <laughs> this, is, this is the one. You guys know what I'm talking about. People trying to, you know, what they call it, uh, smiling, smiling, but they're actually choking you. <laughs> but yeah, after 14 years, we'll do it again. As in, I will do it again. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe even faster this time. Because, <laughs> because I'm like, ah, no, 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 no. You know what? And you? And me? Mm-hmm. Uh, Definitely. Uh, well, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. I've just been thinking about all the adventures that we've um, done, as well as, you know, trying to, what's the word that they call it, building your your love story, right? We've mm-hmm. talked about this a little bit in our book to say, you know, yeah, I kind of had to go back to your wedding album and say, oh, wow, this was such a fun day. Like, how did you decide to get here, laugh, and just, you know, remember what you've built? Because um, a 14 year old is going to be a, what, a middle schooler. School. So that means they've done a lot of school a lot of growing up right so (laughs) it's no joke to be 14 whether you whether it's through birth or through um the years of marriage and we don't take it for granted right so that's like double sevens double Mm -hmm. sevens (laughs) double seven uh not seven squared but double seven two sevens yeah so yeah it's been uh a fun ride right and uh I think we were trying to do this because I would say if we are just too, you know, serious. serious all the time. Like you're not even just this. I say ah, it's because they have not seen us play. You know, you know what I mean. But hey, you know, um, there's a serious side and then there's the playing yes, side, right? There's a side where um, you just have to, uh, you know, take everything off mm-hmm. and just play. Like you work hard and play hard. But I think that the thing is, you know, um, isn't like like having kids at first. They're like these kids, oh, they're the best thing. And after like these kids, oh, I'm gonna, you know. And after like, ah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, have my any kids, other you way. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So. And what's interesting is that isn't it kind of like marriage that brings the kids, or at least the relationship, right? We are talking within the boundaries of marriage now, 
but it's marriage that brings children for those for whom you know children um, are gifted to because we realize that children are gifts. Gift. We're just stewards of them, and um, you know. So, if you had attended the webinar we did last week, we talked about the seasons, right? And that's something that we recognize very much on the couch, right? To know that obviously what we're saying will not apply to everyone Every season, because once yeah. your children have grown, sometimes you forget how hard it is but if your children are grown and everything is still working well we give you a lot of kudos because that season of raising children is very it's like a traumatic shock to a marriage because children come and they change everything like they change the whole yeah. dynamic and so you have to make sure that you're fighting for yourself right fighting, fighting for the man so yes we're yeah. talking about playing but <laughs> you're also making sure that you're fighting for the relationship because otherwise the dynamic is going to so shift that when they leave, right, you just yes, realize that there's, there's nothing, nothing left, left right? Nothing which left. then ensures that, you know, which not ensures, but that's kind of what makes it so that you have to take it seriously, right? We mm -hmm. have these conversations and say, hey, children are going to be living in X, X number, number of years. years by God's grace, right? By God's that's grace, they've lived in X number of years. What's your plan? What's your vision for those years? Like, are you just going to sit and watch the years, you know, come come and go? Because you know they say he that fails to plan that's is planning to fail. And also, we are cognizant of this idea where you know people say vision board manifesting that those things have been around for centuries, right? Says so write the vision, make it plain, so that he that reads it, you know, um, will run with it. And so the idea sometimes why you say why are you focusing on marriage? Why are you focusing on marriage? Because from a sociological perspective, the home is like the center of the society, right? Mm -hmm. And so you say to yourself, how can you have this place where you come back and you're not happy? Like, I feel like that's the, that's the epitome of just like, you know, suffering. I think that's what I'll call it, right? Like there are many ways to suffer, but it shouldn't be in your own household. Yes. Like let your suffering be, you know, something that is not like, yeah, like an external, uh -huh, an an external like thing and something you couldn't do anything about, right? That That's my point. Like something you couldn't do anything about. There's that kind of suffering. That's not what we're talking about. But this suffering where, you know, two people have the capacity to work on it, to change dynamics, to make sure that things are working. And for some reason, one person doesn't or does, right? Mm -hmm. That becomes its own unique kind of uh, pain, right? Pain and hurt. Because as humans, we were designed for relationship. You know, relationship, connection, right? And this is a question we asked. And honestly, the key word that came out was companionship. And so that thing about saying, it's not good for man to be alone. Yes, it sounds trite, but in reality, people have admitted themselves that I don't want to be alone, right? If you, people who kind of do nursing homework and all that say, people's greatest fear is, you know, dying, dying alone, alone, you know? Yeah. And so, like, I mean, it's that idea of, let me make sure I've surrounded myself with, you know, friends, family, mm -hmm. and people that will, um, care for me and marriage right at its bedrock is actually friendship True. it's just a you know a different, a deeper, kind of a deeper type of friendship mm -hmm. yeah and that companionship is my I've heard stories of people that they were looking for money and stuff like they had all the money in the and world then, and then but nobody lost, really to yeah. share it mm -hmm. with you know and mm -hmm. so you know with all that wealth mm -hmm. they're still alone not mm -hmm. to say wealth is not important <laughs> though, don't get me wrong, because, hey, money is a defense right? yeah but, yeah but yeah with that you know um, have somebody that you trust that you can share it with you know mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I think but that's it that's for, it for like for anniversary for days mm -hmm. and uh, we just want to say thank you for, for being on this um, yep. journey with us. Whatever, if you heard something over the last um, eight months that have blessed you, please make sure you, you know, share, share along, yep. pass along because I feel like we're all in this um, together, together yeah. you know, because yeah. any people who come on the couch and they're asking us why are we doing this, why are we doing this? It's fundamentally to tell people you're not alone. No, no, no. You're not alone. No, no. And if other people have gotten through it, 
we you can, can also yes. you know yes we can get there. Can. you are not alone, alone. Yes. so um Continue yes, our journey. Yes. <laughs> so after we finished in the library, we decided to come out and get some food and fresh air. Mm, fresh air. <laughs> we are going I to love share it. fresh uh -huh. air with you. Day season and the night nice season, season of marriage, but it's all the same day, all the same journey. Enjoy the day, enjoy, enjoy the day, endure the night because hmm. joy comes in, in the, the morning. morning. Mm, I yeah, like that. I, that <laughs> I like the way to that. Uh, yeah, I have do right. Actually, right. Yeah. Something mm. different, you're seeing it. This is not like a vlog, but it has become a vlog Almost, for today. I think so, yeah. <laughs> it's become a vlog for today. Okay. Um, we hope you get to have fun. Like I said, you know, there'll be different seasons. I just have to recognize the seasons, you know, for what they are. But every season comes and every season goes, right? No season lasts forever, as it were. Okay. Thank you for joining us today. Um, Look forward to seeing you guys next week when we have something intriguing mm -hmm. on the couch mm -hmm. to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, See you. Bye. Bye.